incredible. Look at that. Hey guys, welcome back. So I have got Friday favorites and foodies for you today and I've got some good things to chat with you guys about. If you love sparkly shadows, I have got really two things that I think you will love, love. And yeah, I've got some other pretty things. It was really kind of all about the eyes this week. So that's kind of most of what I have to chat with you guys about today. So yeah, if you are new here, my name is Leslie. Welcome, I love to do favorites videos, new at the drugstore, get ready with me's reviews, empties, just a lot of fun stuff here on my channel. So if you're new, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button and stuck around for a while. I'd love to have you here on my channel. So yeah, we are chatting about favorites, so let's get to it. Okay, first off, the Harmony palette from Alter Ego. So beautiful, look at this packaging. They did send this to me as PR, so thank you so much to Alter Ego. There is the box on it. Okay, if you love more kind of cool tones and more like sort of taupey, purpley shades, I think you will really enjoy this palette. Look how beautiful. So I think this is beautiful for any time of year. I think this could be very bridal, um, but also it's a great kind of plummy burgundy fall palette. So, so pretty. So I have on, what do I have on? This in my crease. Um, what do I have? I'm trying to remember. Yeah, I mostly have this palette on. And then this in my outer corner, because there's another palette I'm going to share with you. That one, and then what did I put on my lid? Oh, a little bit of this one. So pretty. I, I use this in all different ways. Let's swatch this top one over here too, because it's sparkly and beautiful. Look how gorgeous. Yeah, the mattes are pigmented and blendable and not difficult to work with and the metallic -y shades are really beautiful you can kind of kick them up with a setting spray then there is also a few um kind of like these sparkly sort of shades which y'all know i love they can be kind of like toppers beautiful so pretty so i had to kind of bring in the burgundy purpley sort of colors with my top yeah I think it's really impressive. It's a pretty, pretty palette. And I feel like, you know, there's so many warm tone palettes that it's nice that this one is more on the cool toned, purpley, taupey, burgundy side. So if that's more kind of your color story that you love, definitely check out this palette. It's beautiful. Ooh, this palette is beautiful. I got this in my BoxyCharm box, so this was sent as PR2. So this is from Item, and this is the In My Element eyeshadow palette. Beautiful rose gold packaging on it. Look at this color story. This is a palette I'm already reaching for a ton. I know I'll, I will continue to because if you like cool tone shades, they're in there. If you like warm tone shades, they're in there. I like both. I reach for more warm tones, but I do occasionally like a kind of purpley burgundy. I look like I'm wearing today and this is such a pretty palette. The mattes are really nice and blendable but I would say the stars of the show are these metallic shades. They are incredible. Look at that. That is so pretty. So I have this one on the inner corners of my eyes. It's amazing. And then I have a tiny little bit of this on as my highlighter on my cheek and then a little bit of this, just the tiniest little bit. I went very light handed with it. I didn't want anything over the top. I'm so impressed with this palette. I love it. Goodness, there's just something. Oh, this is so good. <laughs> Looking at this swatch of this shadow, there is just something about a good sparkly metallic shadow that just makes me smile. Those are so beautiful. Like this one, oh my goodness, it's just, it's like a unicorn. Just, ooh, look how, I mean, do y'all agree? Is it just me? Hopefully it's not just me. <laughs> They're really, really pretty and they catch the light. You can use them with a setting spray, but you don't really need to. You can just kind of lightly apply them to get that sort of just light sparkle. Gorgeous palette. And I love that they did the whole row of cool tones and then the row of warm tones. That's such a good idea. Let's go ahead and do a quick mention on blush and lip color this week because I kind of want to get, I want to save the star of the show, my favorite thing for the week till the end. So for blush, I was just really keeping it very simple. Um, this is one of my kind of go-to simple blush options. 
I don't think this particular trio is still available like this. This is older, uh, but I think these products are sold individually, at least a couple of them, maybe all of them. I don't know. This is from the Balm. This is the Girls Getaway Trio, and it comes with Balm Springs, Balm Beach, and Balm Desert. I was really reaching for these two, so Balm Beach and Balm Springs. These are just a really good neutral cheek option. This one's pretty too. I mean, I definitely reach for that one as well. Balm Desert, just kind of depends on what I'm going for. These swatches are really, well, actually, those are more impressive. I was going to say these swatches really aren't even that impressive, but no, they are. Just this first one is very kind of neutral. Um, that's why I love it though, is that it can just go with everything. And it's like a, you know, not overdone, just very neutral, great blush option. Um, kind of that blush bronzer in one sort of product. Yeah, it's just really, really good. So I love the Balm blushes. I find them to be blendable, pigmented, wear really well with the wear time on them is always very impressive. So I don't really know what it is about them that makes them so nice and long wearing. They're kind of more on the satin matte side. Any sparkle you see is from um, shadows, not from the blushes. Just very kind of like satin matte, but they don't look dry on the cheeks. They're just a really good formula. So that is my standout blush favorite. And then for lips, I really was just kind of, you know, throwing something in my purse. What is my hair doing? Throwing something in my purse. So it was really all about the eyes. That's why I'm kind of just quickly doing these two. For lips, I would say the Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon in Enjoy the View. Just a nice kind of neutral, uh, how would I describe this? Like a terracotta peachy sort of color. Um, for me, it's, it's fairly pigmented. I mean, it's not super duper neutral. You know, it's still, it's kind of more of a statement lip, but kind of goes with a lot of things is what I would say about it. So here are swatches of these products. Beautiful neutral blushes that just go with everything. And then there's that really pretty color. I feel like that's kind of unique. Is it just the makeup junkie in me saying that? But it's kind of a warm, like terracotta rosy all in one sort of color, beautiful. And I tend to grab for these a lot. If I'm just kind of wanting something in my purse, um, kind of don't want to think about it or something, this is just one of those kind of lip colors that I reach for. That it just, I like the formula of them, I like the ease, um, I like the color options, so it's just kind of like a go-to for me. One that I reach for a lot. Good products and saving the best for last. Oh my goodness, if you are a sparkly shadow lover, you've got to listen up. This set is beautiful that Ofra sent me. This is their Tinsel Town Spark Lights Topper Set. So their toppers are kind of like these, you know, what does it say? It says for sparkly lids. That makes sense. <laughs> it says made liquid to baked, just like our highlighters, these toppers add a wash of glitter that isn't chalky or messy. Tap these icy shimmers onto your lids, cheeks, and even lips. I have not done that, but I love them on the eyes. So they come in a little set. So there is chill. I'm not wearing chill today, but it is beautiful. It is a like an icy lavender sort of color. Goodness, these are so pretty. They're so pretty. And then iced, I have iced kind of on the outer part of my lid and I applied them lighter. I just got a little bit on my finger and just lightly applied them. So if you like the idea of Urban Decay Spaced Cowboy, where it's that kind of wash of shimmer, I think you would like these. Now these definitely have more kind of color behind them where it's more kind of a that icy lavender. This one is more of a pinky background to them, but that same sort of beautiful sparkly shadow look. I think you will really like these. This one is Glisten. So this one is like an icy white. So I have a little bit of this on the inner part of my lid and then on the inner corners of my eyes. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my goodness. You have to like sparkly shadows to like these because they are sparkly. I mean, that is what they are. They are a topper. They're sparkly um shimmery i mean you i wouldn't even say you have to like glitter but you have to like shimmer because they're not chunky glitter they're definitely that finely milled light catching shimmer 
I just feel like they're gorgeous. You can kind of build them up too and almost get that metallic-y finish if you want more of that. Um, or you can apply them lightly and get just that kind of wash of shimmer. Just gorgeous. I think they're so fun. My favorites are these two for sure. I don't know if I could pick a favorite between the two. Probably this one, probably the, the white glisten just because I would probably reach for that one more to kind of mix it with other things, but I, I really like both of them. This one looks pretty with peachy shades. Like I wore it with this palette and it looked really pretty. They're just gorgeous. I'm in love with them. They're amazing. Okay guys, so those are all my favorites. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below what you've been loving or maybe not so much loving. Let me know what you've been up to recently. I would love to hear that. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video.